Hello students, my name is Harini. Welcome to our lesson on kinematics. The word is difficult sounding, but it is really a simple concept. It's nothing but studying the motion of object in one, two or three dimensional space. Why don't we expand our knowledge on this together? Come, let's have some fun. Hello, Harini here. And yes, I am taking a ride on a bullock cart. Something different? After a car ride, this ride was a lot slow, but it was a lot of fun. Seriously, it would be interesting to calculate the difference in speed. To find the answer to my query, I have to know all about the equations of motion. Why don't we do it here together? Do you know how to derive these equations? No? Okay, do not worry. I'll clearly derive these equations while explaining them to you. Motion, as we know, is dependent on velocity, which is a vector quantity. car our initial velocity is quite low let that be u meters per second as we press hard on the accelerator of our car we drive with uniform acceleration let's say a we pick up speed the velocity keeps on increasing so after a second we can say the velocity is u plus a Due to acceleration being uniform, here we get after 2 seconds the velocity to be u plus 2a. After 3 seconds, we get u plus 3a and this continues. So that we can say that after t seconds, it is u plus ta. So there we get a final velocity v to be u plus at. So finally, velocity is represented by u plus at, which is also our first equation of motion.